Are you ready to unlock the secrets of long-term food storage? What if I did tell you that stashed away in your pantry right now, you could have canned goods that could outlast even the most challenging situations, while others could be a ticking time bomb in your pantry. What makes a can of salmon more valuable than a can of tomatoes over time? And did you know that your canned goods could potentially be eatable for years past their best buy dates if you store them properly? Join me as we dive into deep into the world of canned goods, exploring the superheroes and the nutrition, longevity, unmasking those deceptive villains of the pantry, basically the telltale signs of spoilage that could save you from a dinner disaster with your family. This is the ultimate guide you never knew you needed, answering all the burning questions. What's the real shelf life of your canned goods? Trust me, after this, you'll never look at your pantry the same way again. So stick around to the end because you don't want to miss out on these life-saving tips and tricks that I have for you at the end. So let's get going on this video. For long-term food storage, especially in cases of emergencies, you want to consider a variety of factors, such as the shelf life of the product, the nutritional content, especially proteins, and your calorie count, and also the versatility of the food in terms of its usage in various recipes. So here are 10 canned goods that fit this criteria. Number one, canned beans. They are high in protein and fiber, making them a good source of energy. Varieties can include black beans, pinto beans, kidney beans. Number two, canned tuna or salmon. These are excellent source of protein and omega-3 fatty acids, making sure you choose cans that are packed in water, not oil, for the longest shelf life. Number three, canned chicken. Like canned fish, canned chicken is another source of high quality protein and can be mixed into a ton of different dishes. Number four, canned chili. This typically contains a mixture of meat and beans, so it provides a complete protein source. Plus, the spices can help provide a variety in an emergency diet type situation. Number five, canned vegetables. While as not as high in protein or calories as some of the other options, Canned vegetables do still have an important part in a balanced diet, providing essential vitamins and minerals. Corn and peas have more calories and protein than some other vegetables, believe it or not. Number six, canned soups or stews. Many canned soups and stews are fairly balanced meals on their own, with a mix of proteins, carbohydrates, and vegetables. Look for options with beans, lentils, or meats to up to protein content. Number seven, canned lentils. Lentils are a very high protein, high fiber food that can be used in a variety of ways, including soups, stews, salads, or even by their own. Number eight, canned meats, spam. While they may not be the healthiest option due to their high sodium content, they are packed with protein and calories. It's something you just have to have the taste for. Number nine, peanut butter. Although not technically canned, peanut butter is high in protein and healthy fats. It's a dense source of calories and it has a long shelf life. Number 10, canned nuts. Like peanut butter, Canned nuts are a good source of protein, healthy fats, and a lot of amount of calories in a can of nuts. Remember, while high protein and calorie count are important, it's also essential for you to consider other nutritions like fiber, fats, and vitamins and minerals to maintain a balanced diet. Moreover, maintaining variety in your food storage will help keep moral up during long periods of reliance on stored food. Always check the best buy dates before you buy the products on the canned goods and rotate your stock in your own home to ensure that the food remains safe and nutritious to consume. Now, we're going to flip this over here, folks. When considering what might make a canned food 
worst for long-term storage, we have to consider several factors such as nutritional value, shelf life, and the likelihood of cans integrity being compromised over time. And here we go. Number one, your canned tomatoes. Although nutritious, the high acidity in tomatoes can corrode the can over time, potentially leading to leaks or spoilage. Canned fruits and heavy syrup. These are high in sugar and have fewer nutrients than canned vegetables or fruits and juice. Excessive sugar isn't beneficial for maintaining balanced nutrition and long-term survival scenario. Number three, canned pasta or prepared meals. Canned pasta and meals like ravioli or spaghetti typically have low nutritional value compared to other options. They tend to be high in sodium and carbohydrates, but low in protein and fibers. Number four, canned meat products with high sodium. While canned meats can provide a good source of protein, some like corned beef or sausages are high in sodium and fats, which can lead to health problems if consumed excessively over time. Number five, canned diet foods. These products are often low in calories, which isn't ideal when you're aiming for a high energy food storage. They may also have artificial sweeteners or additives that aren't as healthy as natural ingredients. Number six, canned foods with cream-based sauces. Cream-based products have a shorter shelf life compared to other canned goods. They can also be quite rich and not as balanced nutritional. Number seven, canned baked beans and tomato sauce. Although beans are generally a good source, baked beans and tomato sauce can be high in sugar and sodium with less protein than other bean options. Number eight, canned sodas or sugary drinks. These offer no nutritional value, just empty calories. They can also be heavy and take up valuable storage space that could be used for more nutritional dense items in your pantry. Number nine, canned olives. While they can be a tasty addition to meals, olives don't offer much in terms of calorie or nutritional value. They're a filler food like corn. Number 10, canned broths. While broths can be used in cooking, they are low in calories and protein unless you plan to do a lot of cooking with your stored food. Space could be better used for more nutritional items, in my opinion. Remember, these worst options can still have their place in balanced food storage, especially for adding variety to your meals but they should not be relied upon as the main source of nutrition. As with any canned goods, be sure to check the integrity of the cans regularly and use and replace items before their expiration dates. Here are several tips of warning signs that your canned products may have gone bad. Number one, swelling or bulging. This is one of the most obvious signs if it can is swollen it might be due to gas production from bacteria growing inside toss it out rust or corrosion this can be compromised the seal of the can and potentially allow air and bacteria to enter through small microscopic holes that you can't even see number three leaks or seepage if any liquid is coming out of the can it's a sure sign the can integrity has been compromised throw it out. Dents or damaged? I get asked this question a lot. A severe dent, especially on a seam, could damage the seal of the can, allowing bacteria to enter. If it's a small dent, not around any seams, the can should be okay. Try to use first. Number five, a foul smell. Upon opening the can, a bad or off smell is a strong indication that the food has gone bad and has spoiled. Throw it out. Number six, a strange texture or color. If the food appears discolored or slimy, do not consume it. Throw it out. Number seven, unusual or off taste. If you checked all the above and still decide to taste the food, 
Any odd or off flavor is a sign that the food is not safe to eat. If you're in doubt, it's safer not to taste it at all. Just throw it out. Number eight, the can is squirting liquid. When you open the can, if it squirts liquid, it's almost certain it's contaminated. It's no good. Number nine, mold growth. If you see any of these signs of mold, the food is not safe to eat, toss it away immediately. Remember, it's always better to be safe than sorry if you have any doubts about the canned goods in your pantry. It's better to dispose of it than rather risk of getting food poisoning or botulism. In an ideal conditions, a cool, dry, dark place, canned goods can often last far beyond their best buy dates. Here are some general estimates for how long certain canned goods can last in ideal storage conditions. Number one, canned beans, three to six years past the best buy date. Number two, canned tuna or salmon, three to six years past the best buy date. Canned chicken, three to six years past the best buy date. Number four, canned chili, three to six years past the best buy date. Number five, canned vegetables, three to six years past the best buy date. Six, canned soups and stews, you guessed it, three to six years past the best buy date. Canned lentils, three to six years past the best buy date. Canned meats, all different types, including spam, three to six years past the best buy date. Canned peanut butter, three to six years past the best buy date. And number 10, canned nuts, and as you guessed it, three to six years past that best buy date. The quality and taste and texture may decline over time, but it's still safe to eat. The estimates above are broad and conservative. In some cases, canned foods have been found to be safe and edible even 15 to 20 years past their best buy dates. However, it is essential to understand that while the food may be safe to eat, the quality, flavor, texture, color, nutritional value will gradually decline over time. Always inspect canned goods before consuming, checking for signs of spoilage such as bulging, corrosion, leaks, all smell, or appearances upon opening. And remember, to practice first in, first out rotation with your stored goods to ensure you're consuming older items first and replacing them with newer ones. There you have it, the secret world of canned goods decoded for you. But this is just the tip of the culinary iceberg, really. My friends, imagine what other surprising insights thrilling revelations and particular tips are waiting for you in a vast library of over 850 videos have you ever wondered how to turn a bleak pantry into a treasure trove of delicious meals do you want to demystify the labels on your food understand the best survival strategies or simply learn how to elevate your emergency cooking We've got all that and more wrapped up in a banquet of videos just waiting for you to devour. So why wait? Dive right in and curb your curiosity. Together we'll journey through an exciting world of food, storage, and survival. Remember, knowledge is a key ingredient to success. And your next food adventure starts, well, with a single click. So subscribe to me today and click that notification bell and unlock a world of knowledge that's more satisfying than a well-stocked pantry. Until next time, you all stay curious, stay prepared, and as always, happy prepping. Till next time, catch you on the flip side.